Hello there, I am Helen Frieda and basically I am a graphic designer and web designer of the design agency Lilac City and I produce the promo package for Astrid S, so the website the and the digipack, so the album. And unfortunately the music video director of Astrid S's latest track Bloodstream couldn't make it today so I'm going to be filling in for talking about the music video as well as the website and digipack that I created for Astrid S. So I am here to talk about um, Astrid S's promo package and how it's collaborated with, um, how all the products collaborated together, so the music video website, the album, how there was a sense of branding throughout. So yeah, I'm here to talk about that. How did we collaborate together to create a sense of branding? So basically, me and Evie, the director, the music video director of the video, we um, sat down together and we talked about the colour schemes, we talked about the, um, the visual style that we would have and how we would um, feature the latest video so elements of it on the website and also elements of the album on, on the website and everything. So um, yeah, and we decided that we'd take some shots from the music video and apply them into the website. So in the website at the moment, there is a GIF which plays, repeats itself. Um, it's on the main homepage. So as soon as you enter the, the homepage, it's there and it just repeats and repeats. And it's basically a clip from the music video from um, the part when Astrid is singing, he's floating in my bloodstream now. So yeah, that clip keeps repeating and repeating. And we quite like that element that we put in there. And then also, in terms of colour scheme, we, um, we made sure that the colour scheme kind of matched um, the album matched with the website and also with the music video so in the music video there was a lot of colour correction used and colourful lighting and then on the album the front cover and also on the back cover there is use of multicolours so I decided to make the artist logo multicoloured and also the album title multicoloured and then the, f the image of Astrid S on the front cover is um, basically her hair is pink and also she's wearing a red top well it's a blue top but with red double exposed image on top of it and basically it's just really we want to really create the vibrant colour scheme going on and also because it's um, it's a convention of it's an electropop genre convention to see use of vibrant colours and everything and um, so yeah, and also the, the the image on the back panel of the digipack of the album is also color, very colourful. So pinks and reds and blues and everything. So yeah, and um, on the website um, we tr we try to make a lot of the background colours behind the text that you see as you scroll down the homepage, for example. So we decided to make one pink, black, white, blue white yeah I said and lilac and lots of different colors which also you would say would like are quite feminine colors as well so they attract the female audience but we also try to include black and blacks and whites and blues and stuff which would which are kind of masculine colors which we thought would attract more of a male audience to the website and to the artists in general and then also in the music video, um, wait, no, no. Um, also the artist logo that I created for, I designed for the album. We featured that on the website. So at the very top on the, um, on the left upper hand side in the top list, the artist logo features there. And also on the store on the website, the, her Astro S's logo is featured directly in the middle, upper middle of the page 
and yeah in this quite big font and also on the splash page before you enter the website there is the artist logo again which is really big in size so it's featured heavily throughout and the colour scheme is clear throughout as well throughout the three products Yes, definitely we included Astra S in the creative process. We really feel like that's very important. It's a very important thing to do to make the artist feel collaborated in the creative work that we're creating and we're doing in Lilac City, the design agency. We really, um, really care about including the artist into the decisions. And also... Um, yeah, so the artist Astrid S, she wanted to wear certain costumes in the music video. She she um, decided on the costumes and also she decided on the hair colour. So she had pink hair in the video. She had blue hair as in the video at points. And she also had, um, I think she had kind of like a greeny blonde kind of colour. So yeah, she really wanted to... She had a lot of ideas that she wanted to do, especially for the music video. And also she decided, yeah, as, she, as I just said, she decided on the costumes, so the checkered top that you see her wearing in the music video, she decided on that, and also that she would wear a beanie throughout, and that the ex-boyfriend would also wear a beanie, so it shows the kind of connection they used to have together, that they both wore beanies and everything. And yeah, and she, um, she also kind of helped with the design for the website, so for example the layout of it so how it's a scrolling website which goes down so there's different sections there's the, the there's the bio section first then there's the tour section then there's the um, the music section then there's the video section and there's the social section and then there's the contact section so we um yeah she helped with deciding the order of that and the layout that she wanted and everything and yeah so we really try at Lilac City we really try to incorporate the artist in the creative decision and the creative process which audience would we will we trying to attract so we were trying to mainly attract females aged 16 to 24 um, because that's Astrid S's existing primary audience, audience and also she has a secondary audience for males aged 16 to 24 and also tweens aged 11 to 14 and um, yeah I think during the music production of the music video that's when we mainly kind of um tried to go against the the primary audience or attracting the primary audience completely well no attracting the secondary audience completely so we were trying to kind of sway um away from keeping the tween audience slightly so by having some intimate shots of the couple together so you, you can see quite close-up objectifying shots of Astrid S with the boy in the video and also um, she wears a nose ring and um, also she's got quite extravagant costumes and makeup and everything and also yeah the content some of the content is quite well a little bit explicit you could say and um, yeah so by doing that we thought that we were attracting more of the 16 to 24 year olds audience so both males and females because um, in some ways the shots of the intimate shots of the couple together and of Astrid were kind of objectifying and um, you could say that the male gaze was being exploited so that's a, that's a theory from Laura Mulvey um, so Basically, the camera was putting itself in the eyes of male spectators and objectifying her. So yeah, we thought that was really, that kind of attracted a more older audience. And uh, yeah, this, uh, the also, um, 
we thought that having Astrid as the main character in the video, in the narrative, so she was she was the main character, we thought that would attract a stronger female audience um, because Astrid is leading the narrative and um, yeah, she's yeah very clearly leading the narrative and the boy is clearly a secondary character, secondary passive character, but she is an active character. And um, yeah, that can, that can go with John Berger's theory of ways of seeing. So women act and men appear. Men act and women appear, sorry. And um, basically that's going against that theory slightly. So the woman, the female in the, in the video is the active character. And the male in the video is actually the passive character. But yeah, anyways, we were mainly trying to attract 16 to 24 year olds, females and male audience. As I've already said, we tried to, yeah, challenge Astrid, slightly challenge Astrid S's existing brand image. So by um, making her more, well, I guess more open and more um, sexually active, I guess. So as you saw, there's in the shots of, in the music video, there are intimate shots of the couple doing more intimate things on the verge of being sexual. And also, Astrid S um, wears a lot of clothing, which is slightly revealing, and shows the shoulders and the skin and everything. So that is slightly. Um, um, verging on, yeah, it's 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 attracting an older audience, you could say, because it's more well risky and well um, uneasy and awkward for a younger audience to well accept and understand because it's it's inappropriate in, in younger people's eyes. Because yeah, they don't relate with what is going on, so they don't relate with the intimate stuff in terms of like um, grabbing someone's butt, as you saw in the video, and also like just touching each other's bodies and basically looking at all the stuff you do before um, you have sex. Basically, that's the kind of things that we showed, and also um, yeah, we tried to challenge her existing brand image slightly by making her more extravagant by wearing more extravagant clothing, quite strange, different clothing, and also by having colourful hair, which is quite a statement. And um, yeah, because originally she would have just blonde hair and be quite um, stereotypically normative. So being stereotypically um, a white Caucasian female with blonde hair, uh, blonde long hair and everything so we wanted to challenge that normative representation of women and females by challenging it having colorful crazy hair and also by having um, alternative clothing alternative fashion clothing everything so yeah so social media so basically, me and Evie, we um, tried to um, post a lot, well, get Astrid to post a lot on social media um, and also have her profile picture on all her social media, the latest album, which we designed and created. Yeah, so the profile picture was the album. And then um, as the cover photo, for example, on... Twitter, you, you can get a cover photo at the top, and basically we made that a screenshot from the music video, so it was the shot of her sitting in the club alone, looking sad into the distance. That was the shot, the image we used for the cover image on the Twitter account, and also on the YouTube account we made the profile picture of the latest album cover, the, the front cover of the album, and also we made the cover image, the same image again, of Astrid S, from a, sc a screenshot from the music video 
of Astrid S sitting alone in the club, looking to the distance, quite sad and everything. So yeah, we tried to make the social media quite um, pushing the latest album and the latest music video as well. And also, Astrid S posted many um, things on social media, trying to interact with the fans during the whole process of producing the music video and producing the website. So when we were making the store, she kept posting updates for the fans to see like, oh, we just, just, we've got some new arrivals, or what do you think, guys, of, of these latest hoodies and things. And also, there's an autograph signed vinyl copy on Twitter, which, um, no, on, on, on the merch store, which you can buy for 50 euros and stuff like that. So yeah, social media had quite a big impact on um, the branding. So we really tried to push social media. Yeah, I'd like to add that we made a splash page for the website, which is is a page before you enter the actual proper website. And basically on the splash page, we featured the latest album, so you can listen to the whole album for free on the splash page. And also it says you can buy that album for $12.99, I think it was. Yeah, and also the latest video auto plays immediately as soon as you go onto the splash page. So we really tried to push the latest stuff out so people can listen to it, buy it and everything. And then on the home page, on what well, on the mu music section of the home page and also on the music page in the top list, it's the, the top link in the top list. Basically, we tried to push the social media icons and just the icons. So for the music platforms, like so Spotify, uh, Deezer, SoundCloud, Apple Music, uh, Google Play, we tried to really push the music platforms so that we can enforce people to um, stream the music or buy the music or anything and also we had a merch icon so you can press the merch icon and buy the album on the merch store and everything so yeah we, um, yeah, we really tried to push the latest stuff and really push people to well, buy the album so we tried to basically literally push it in their face constantly so they constantly think wow i i want to buy this album i want to watch this video now so yeah really trying to shove it in people's faces yeah and um let me think is there anything else um yeah another branding element so um so the digipack that we created we made a lyric booklet within that digipack and within the lyric booklet we included um, shots from the music video, so of, of Astrid lip-syncing in the music video. And um, so yeah, each song with with the lyrics next to it, basically, um, well each, each, each page with each track and the lyrics of the track, we included an image, a different image each time of Astrid S from the music video. Um, yeah, either in a close-up, a medium shot, or a medium long shot, etc. Many things like that. And yeah, we just really tried to push the music video elements. So that created a link between the music video and the digipack. And yeah, it gave like a kind of exclusive sneak peek for the fans to see like extra bonus images from the shoots from the music video and stuff like that. Yeah, so it made, makes the audience feel special and like, yeah, included within the artist. And also there's use of direct gaze throughout the lyric booklet. So that really connects with the um, audience, making the audience feel like they've got a personal connection with the um, artist. And yeah, also the fact of having even having a lyric booklet um, basically enforces the the audience to learn the lines or learn the lyrics so that when they go to Astro S's concert it will it will boost the concert atmosphere for them and also we made a lyric, vi lyric video on the website so we thought that would increase the branding and a visualizer video as well so it really increased the branding to help the audience really want to see more so it's, it's quite a sneak peek for them 
so um, that that those videos came out before the music video. So yeah, it's like a sneak peek, like really, um, really teasing the audience to really make them want to see more, to see the music video to come out basically. So yeah, and um, I think that's about it. So yeah. Thank you so much. It's been great to talk and and yeah, basically talk about Astro S promo package. It's been really fun. So thanks for having me.